everyone and welcome to another video in our series that guides you through our favourite plugins and online services. Are you ready for a great new tool for getting more visibility and traffic to your website? Because in this video I'm going to be talking about Snipply, which is being used by hundreds of thousands of people to create even more engagement for their content. Snipply is fantastic to highlight great content on the web and then point people back to relevant content on your website. You simply snip the URL with either their browser extension or their web app. And Snipply creates a call to action button to show up directly on whatever content you're sharing. This could be to your own website, Kickstarter campaign, Etsy shop or anything you'd like to boost traffic for. This is an awesome win-win scenario for promoting someone else's content while creating a call to action button that shows up on their content that links back to yours. Snipply also lets you include a sign up opportunity within every piece of content you share across social media. You can attach a simple sign up form that connects to your mailing list to rapidly grow your newsletter. You can even leverage viral content like YouTube videos you simply use Snipply to embed them directly into your own website with the click of a button. This drives the virality back to you. It's another win-win. So how do you start using this brilliant tool? The first thing to do is to head over to snipply.com and register for free. So let's go and do that now. On the Snipply website, you want to click on try Snipply for free. Then enter your details here. All you need is your name, a password and an email address and you're done. You'll now be on your Snipply dashboard. This may look a little confusing at first, but don't worry, it's easy. You've got your toolbar here on the left, which has a getting started section, manage your snips, integrations and account and resources. At the bottom, you've got a quick way to create a snip as well, which we'll go into in a moment. I'm in the get started section right now and as you can see it has a few things for me to do to start learning how to use Snipply. Follow along with me and create your first snip. So let's click on create snip here. Now you have a few things to fill in about your snip. So step one, the page URL is the page you want to share and where your snip will be featured on. This can be found at the top of your browser here. Make sure your URL has HTTP colon forward slash forward slash at the beginning for it to work properly. Step two, paste the site or blog URL you want to share here. Step three, Snipply now asks for relevant details to include in your call to action button. The main items to have are a message for the readers, a title for the call to action button and the link on your own blog to send people back to. Once you've got that, click on create. Step four, you'll see a new window with a place to get the newly snipped content with your call to action button on it. From here, you can share your link on the social media of your choice or even preview how it will look when people check it out. Step five, this is where it gets fun and rewarding and you can start to see clicks on your call to action button. You can now go to your dashboard on Snipply and track clicks conversions and manage your snips. To drive engagement from content that you already share and get more traffic back to your site, it's as easy as that, just use Snipply. By the way, we have so much more to share with you. This video just isn't big enough. Over on our website, you can find lots more tools and techniques used by big companies. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a quick like and share it with your friends. Thank you and see you in the next video.